Hey, today we're going to be doing a part two on our fishing wagon. We're going to be taking the Groundworks utility cart and turning that into our fishing wagon with pole holders and all the goodies. And we got me and we got Clayton over here. Hey guys. And we're going to show you the tools you need. We used a sawzall when we did it the first time, but you can use a hand saw or we're going to try it with this junky miter saw that we got. And we're also going to need a drill, some PVC. The size of the PVC is going to de be determined by the size of your rods that you're using. And we're going to need some zip ties. The first thing we're going to be doing is adding our rod holders. So you're going to need some PVC. Um, we're using an inch and a half because the butt of our rod will slide into this. And it's just a nice little tight fit. That's what she said. And uh, if your rod butt is a little bit thicker, you may need some bigger PVC. And we're just going to set it on the saw here. We don't really need to measure it. We'll just cut a piece to eye, and then we'll go ahead and make a few more as we go. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to use our other one and uh, kind of set it on there so that way we know where we want it. We're going to go ahead and repeat the process. All right, now we've got six total rod holders for our wagon, and we're gonna move on to the next step. Now we're gonna need our drill, and I think the easiest thing to do is just drill a couple holes in the bottom and the top, and then we'll run zip ties through that. So we got one done and we're going to go ahead and repeat the process on the other five. Make sure you try to keep the holes kind of aligned from top to bottom. Now we're going to show you how to mount them to your wagon. You're going to want to get some zip ties and simply thread them through the holes. Super easy to do guys. Just going to take and run it through. Push your other finger. That way it comes up through there. This should go pretty fast for you.
and we'll go ahead and repeat the process. Now we're going to decide where we want to mount it on the wagon. I think we're going to mount one on the front, one on the middle, and one on the side. And on my other wagon, I mounted them with a little bit of an angle. And the reason was if you mount them straight up like this and you go through a brushy area, uh, you know, your rod tips are going to hit the trees and stuff like that. And when you put them at an angle, it kind of cuts down on that a little bit. So what I'm going to do is all you have to do is run your zip tie. Let's move it forward a little bit here. Just run your zip tie like that. And like I said, I want mine at a little bit of an angle. So... I think this will work out really good like that. Now you're just going to pull your zip ties tight. And we'll just go ahead and repeat that process on the other five. As you can tell guys, she's looking pretty good now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and pull all of our zip ties really tight and then cut the ends off of them. I think we may even add a net holder on there as well. For the net, I think we're going to mount it on the back over here. Bring the camera around, son. See this bar? We're going to zip tie it to that. So I want it to set in between this. So I think I'll just simply take another piece of it and mark it with a pencil and we should be good to go. Guys, let's see if it fits like that. Pretty much perfect, guys. Now, with my other wagon. I did it pretty much the same way and about once a year a zip tie would break and you'd have to replace it. All 
All right, guys, we're gonna cut these zip ties and then we're gonna load it up and show you what it looks like. Here she is, fully loaded down, guys. Now we've got several chairs on this bad boy. Some of them are covered up and you can't see them, but you got buckets for days. We got six rod stands. We got a little pop-up table, a cot, a tent. There's our net. Like I said, this thing's looking pretty good, guys. Uh, the only thing I'd probably recommend, if you guys want to spend a little extra money, you could use those uh, metal zip ties. Then you'd probably never have to replace one. But like I said, only about once a year do I have to replace a zip tie on my old wagon. And here's my old one, as you can tell. One of the zip ties broke recently, and we had a flat tire on it. So we fixed the tire, but we upgraded anyway. You can tell there's quite a bit of difference in the size of these wagons. Now the red one, it's a groundwork as well, but it's a lot narrower and it's not as long either. We want to say thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button.